Hi, today's question is, in the Hardy-Weinberg theorem, p square represents, and here is the five answers that you might choose from, so um, I can give you the correct answer right away, but before that I want to show you the formula and explain every detail about this formula. So the formula itself is p squared plus 2 p q plus q squared equal to 1 and this all uh, frequency of the genotypes and phenotypes in the gene pool. We use this formula when we have a deployed organism uh, with two sets of chromosomes, one set from the mother side, another one from the father side, and when we have two alleles for one locus, that is uh, one dominant and another recessive. And in this formula, p squared means uh, homozygous dominant, we can say capital A, capital A, 2PQ stands for the heterozygous, uh, capital A, small a, and Q squared stands for the uh, homozygous recessive, small a, small a. So now imagine such situation when we have, for example, plants who is going to be red and white. So red would be dominant over the white. And for example, here we have uh, five uh, flowers that is going to be red. I'm drawing uh, two uh, red circles to represent two alleles. In this particular plant we have both alleles to be dominant, so capital A, capital A, and we have five plants. Also we have three plants that is going to be uh, heterozygous, so one allele would be dominant, another allele would be recessive. But still, um, this is also going to be red flower. So let me draw red flower here. So both these genotypes would represent one phenotype. And also we have two plants that is going to be um, hit, uh, homozygous recessive for both uh, alleles. And this is going to be a second phenotype. And all these plants going to be white color. Those, as you see here, for the heterozygous, we have uh, half of the alleles uh, recessive, but as long as we have one dominant allele that is uh, dominant over the recessive, the phenotype would be the same as uh, homozygous dominant, so this flower would be red. And as you see, only two types of uh, alleles make uh, this gene pool. So this is one type that is dominant, and here is another type that is uh, recessive. So we have only uh, allele A and capital A, an allele that is recessive small a in this gene pool and these two types of alleles make uh, three genotypes and would make two phenotypes. So we can say that uh, all alleles P that represents uh, capital A dominant allele plus all alleles Q that represents here all um, recessive alleles would equal to 1. So, for example, here we have uh, five plants, homozygous uh, dominant. Uh, so, we have 10, uh, 10 dominant alleles here, plus here we have three. Uh, plants that is uh, heterozygous, so that means we have three uh, dominant alleles here, so 10 plus 3, we have 13 uh, dominant alleles in this gene pool, and also we have uh, four alleles as uh, homozygous recessive, uh, 
uh, so uh, small a alleles plus three alleles uh, in the heterozygous. So here uh, that means we have uh, seven alleles. So four plus three seven. So here we have thirteen, and here we have seven uh, seven. So altogether we have twenty alleles that represent uh, this whole uh, gene pool, and uh, seven would be uh, recessive, and thirteen would be uh, dominant. If we put uh, this seven for uh, Q and 13 for P, we are going to get 20 here, uh, and this is an uh, incorrect way to do it. Uh, so we have to transfer these numbers to frequencies. So in order to, f to five frequency of the uh, recessive allele, for example, we have to uh, divide 7 by total number of alleles. Uh, capital A and uh, small a alleles, so that means uh, by 13 plus 7. So uh, the answer here would be 0 0.35, so this is going to be the frequency of the uh, allele that is small a, and uh, it is uh, very easy to find p, we just have to subtract from one uh, number of the uh, alleles that is q so we can rewrite this formula as p equal to one minus q so if as long as we know that uh, q is 0 0.35 we can say that uh, uh, so we can put here p equal 1 minus 0 0.35 this would equal to p 0 0.65 so we were able to find the frequencies of the uh, dominant alleles frequencies of the uh, recessive alleles now using these numbers we can easily find uh, frequencies uh, of the genotypes we just have to put uh, uh, to, for example, to find a uh, number of the homozygous dominant, we just have to square uh, this number, P. So we have to square it. And this is going to be uh, frequency of the homozygous dominant. We have to multiply 2 by number P and Q frequencies. So we would find uh, the number for this genotype. And we have to square... Uh, number uh, of the uh, recessive alleles, so we have to square 0 0.35 in order to find the frequency of this genotype. So this what this formula stands for, and now we can read all the answers and choose the correct answer. So answer A, the total alleles in the gene pool, and as you see, P squared stands only for the uh, portions of the alleles, even not for all dominant alleles, only for the homozygous dominance. So uh, this is incorrect answer, we have to cross out. Uh, answer B, the frequency of the heterozygous dominance in the gene pool. So here is the heterozygous, uh, those would express dominant phenotype. And uh, this is also incorrect answer, so we have to cross out this answer. Answer C, the frequency of the homozygous recessive in the gene pool. So uh, this is frequency of the homozygous recessive. And as we see in the formula, uh, Q squared stands for the uh, homozygous recessive. So this doesn't answer our question. So we have to cross out this answer. Answer D, all the possible uh, phenotypes in the gene pool. And as you see, we have here one, 
two and three. Oh, sorry, one, uh, one, and two uh, phenotypes and one, two, three genotypes. And uh, P squared here stands for the uh, homozygous dominant, but not for number of uh, phenotypes. That is one and two. So we have to cross out this answer. And answer E, uh, the frequency of the homozygote dominance in the gene pool. And this is the correct answer. P squared stands for the number of the homozygous dominant in the gene pool. So we have to put it as, as a correct answer. That's all for today. I hope now you would be better understand this formula. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my new video that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.